when when considering outsourcing certain services and you know it doesn't it's not only limited to um, financial type services the, the key decision is looking at core and non-core activities within your business so um, as an example a widget manufacturer would be focused on core activities such as sourcing supply of materials manufacturing process quality and and going to market whereas everybody knows that business is more encompassing than that there are other areas such as the finance side it could even be aspects of the process going to market like delivery transport etc which are very very important services or aspects or activities to a business that are not necessarily core and top of mind to the business leadership or owners generally you will find businesses or business owners want to focus on the core activities and outsource the non-core activities so what are the benefits of that well first of all i think you get the best utilization of expert services because remember when you're outsourcing you are outsourcing a deliverable you're not employing for capacity it's a deliverable you rely on experts who are good at what they do and it provides a level of assurance to the business leaders that those aspects which are key important but not necessarily core are happening and won't disrupt the business in any way obviously other benefits are when businesses are growing costs can get out of kilter this is one way to try and fix some of your your support costs in your business and then of course there's a whole lot of other advantages such as looking at the control framework around a business and that is if you think about separation of duties you've got levels of independence in certain activities that are being done and this all leads to good governance which certainly gives assurance to business leaders that the processes are happening in a timely and in a in a good qualitative manner and obviously that then improves the decision making of the business